Good morning. Welcome to the South Tower and Vineyard online service. We're going to begin with musical worship. Please come and join us. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemy. I raise a hallelujah.
Good morning, SSV family, and welcome to our final Wednesday worship and devotion. My name is Andrea Best. We're on day 16 of our 21 day fast, and I'm praying that the Lord has been meeting you in special ways over the past couple weeks. Now today, we're gonna be in Psalm 27, verses one through seven, and it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble? When evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. For he will conceal me there when troubles come. He will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Then I will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me. At his sanctuary, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord with music. Hear me as I pray, O Lord. Be merciful and answer me. Now, whenever I make the commitment to fast and as I try to lean further and further into the Lord's presence, I find myself thinking about how I'll approach my days once the fast is over. And this time around, is, it's really no different. When I'm in a season of fasting, I find it much easier to lean into the presence of the Lord because his voice seems to be clearer, clearer and really louder. In the first three verses of this psalm, David is speaking with such a confidence in the Lord's ability to be his strength and his light and his protection. He's saying, the Lord is my light and salvation, so why should I be afraid? He even says, even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. I too tend to have this godly confidence about me in seasons of fasting because I've been relying on the Lord in ways that feel different for me. You know, I've, I've removed all the distractions and I'm spending much more intentional time with God. But there's always this point in the fast where I find myself thinking, will this peace last? Will this clarity continue after the fast is over? But as I look at verse four, I find my answer very boldly written. It says, the one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. To sustain the peace, to grab hold of the clarity, I must seek to make the presence of the Lord my permanent residence, like I have to live there. <laughs> and I love the way the message version says verse five. It says, that's the only quiet, secure place. In a, perf in, a no in a noisy world, the perfect getaway, far from the buzz of traffic. How beautiful is it to know that we never have to leave the presence of the Lord, the place that is quiet and joy-filled. I remember being a little girl and frequently visiting my grandmother's house. I always had the best time with my grandma. Her kitchen was the place where we spent just hours reading and doing crossword puzzles or just simply talking. I also remember almost every time my parents came to pick me up, I'd hear the front door open and immediately burst into tears because I knew it was time for me to go home. I knew it was time for me to leave the one place that it was one of my favorites. It brought me so much peace and joy. Back then, I'm sure I wish I could pick up grandma's kitchen with grandma in it and take it back home with me. Now you, Think of that place that kind of makes you sad when you think about having to leave. Maybe it's your favorite musician's concert or a, just a really fun time with friends. Or if you're like my husband and me just a few weeks ago, a perfect kidless vacation in Jamaica. <laughs> what makes those places so hard to leave? Is it the change of pace from your normal routine or is it the overwhelming quiet and calm? Maybe it's just you're spending some real quality time with someone you love dearly. The joy and peace found during those times just can't be replaced, right? Don't you wish you could bring it with you? But I want you to consider something. When we think about it, 
God's presence provides all that we desire when we think of those favorite places and more. In his presence, we get the opportunity to experience overwhelming peace, quiet, calm, even amid three little ones pulling at your pant leg while you do the dishes. In his presence, you may get that change of pace from your normal routine. I don't know about you, but when I let the Lord lead my day, most of the time it looks a lot different than how I had it planned in my head, you know, and it's really for the better if I can add that. And in his presence, we are spending quality time with the one we love more than anything and anyone. You know, it brings me so much comfort to know that as we approach the end of our fast and we begin, think, begin to think of life maybe getting a little bit noisier, we can take the presence of God home with us or to work or to school, wherever we are, there is his presence. We can rest in a place that is secure and quiet and full of never ending peace. But I want you to also notice in verse five, when David says, he will conceal me when the troubles come. He's making it known that troubles will come. So let us also be aware that some seasons of life are noisier, busier, and even harder than others. And here comes the trouble. But let us also remember where we are. We're placed out of reach on a high rock. We are being hidden in the Lord's sanctuary. We are safe. And it's in that safety that we have the freedom to rejoice and praise and worship the Lord with gladness because we know that God has us covered on all sides. Let me pray for us this morning. Father, we thank you that we are covered on all sides. Lord, we thank you that we have the opportunity to rest in your presence, to be safe with you, Lord. God, I pray that as we move through the rest of this fast and as we approach those last days, I pray that it just begins to feel strange when we're out of your presence, that you would make us feel weird when we don't acknowledge you in the morning, God, or just say, hello, Father, as soon as our feet hit the floor. God, rest with us, be with us, cover us today, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, in your holy name I pray, amen. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Continue to be blessed and enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you on Sunday.